your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. It just doesn't get any more cybernetic awesomeness like this. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys, and here we are back with another, I guess, action action figures review. Welcome back to the greatest show on planet Earth. All right, guys. Uh, so today we're going to be taking a look at some, actually the entire line of Techno Spawn. So if you're here with me, you're joined here with me today. Today is a special, special day. So we are going to be reviewing this entire freaking line. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. So here is Techno Spawn. If you guys are not familiar with Techno Spawn, good thing I got this one because this is the only packaged one that I have. The other ones are all loose. Speaking of loose, I've reviewed a few of these figures. Uh, Grey Thunder, which I reviewed way back in the day when I first started my channel. He wasn't complete. I have him complete. Uh, I did do a review of Cyber Spawn as well, but we're going to break them out simply because he's a part of this line. But the th four other figures that I have not reviewed from this line, Code Red, which is the uh, ape, uh, the uh, Warthog, Warzone, uh, the Steel Trap, which is an alligator or crocodile. Um, and then we have the Iron Express, which is, I don't know what the hell this thing is. Um possibly a dragon i have no idea what the iron express is this is the iron express right here good thing i got this right here so i have a reference of what the hell i'm reviewing uh so let's go ahead and start this video let's take this guy out of the package we'll re we'll review him first and then we'll just kind of go down the line and and review these figures at random so and if you're wondering what year this is from uh 1999 so the turn of the 20th century that's crazy to say man so yeah over 20 years ago these figures were released so essentially 20 years this has been in packaged and it has not been opened up since now and <laughs> and then 20 years ago they gave us they still were given this these twisty ties um back in the day i have i don't know man Whoever, whoever invented twisty ties, I swear, man. I don't know what the purpose is of them. I guess if you guys are inbox collectors, I mean, I guess it makes sense to have the pe uh, figure in there and not move. But uh, I think the plastic is more than enough to hold the figure in there. And since a lot of toy companies nowadays, I'm going to continue talking as I'm opening up this figure. With a lot of toy companies nowadays, you know, they're, they're trying to cut back on plastic, right? So it's funny. Toy companies are trying to cut back on plastic. Um, <laughs> that's kind of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, well, not so much ironic. Well, it, even though it is ironic, it's kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Help me out here, ladies and gentlemen. What's the word I'm looking for? It's not coming to me. It'll come to me later on. Let me move all this stuff out the way. And then here's a little pamphlet right here irony um there is all the uh, stuff that you can get collectors club mcfarland collectors club uh here is how some of this stuff works right here oh this is okay directions for all pretty much all the figures right here for cyber spawn cold red iron express um yeah for all of them uh, I reviewed some Danger Girls, I reviewed uh, Dawn, I reviewed some of the Sin City figures. Then here's that, look at that, Dark Ages, Mandarin Spawn, man, look at that, bro. 
That's crazy. Metal Gear Solid, Ozzy Osbourne, Beatles, Movie Maniacs, Austin Powers, Curse of Spawn. Review probably half of these figures on my channel. All right, let's quit wasting time, guys. Um, isn't it ironic, don't you think? <laughs> Speaking of irony, let's take a look at Iron Express. And I have no idea what the hell this guy is, man. Uh, kind of looks like a bird, like a walking bird. This would be his mouth right here. These would be his feathers. Really, really unique. His gun is at the below right there at the bottom of his chest. And then his legs uh, can move. Hopefully they don't break. Yeah, they can move. They're a little stiff. That's what she said. Um, and then I'm guessing this is where the cannon goes to right here. Obviously, there's a hole right there. So there's the cannon right there. And it fires probably if you just push it out. I'm sure there's a mechanism. Yeah, there's some, some kind of mechanism in there that should fire it out. Uh, or maybe, hold on. Well, we have the pamphlet, so I can take a look at that. But I just still want to take a closer look at the, uh, the detail of Iron Express. So he does have articulation in his ankles so they should but they are a little stiff once again but yeah there is movement in his ankles really unique man i've never seen anything like this i've never watched anybody else's reviews let's see does this neck uh yeah it does twist like so very interesting man very interesting the detail is really really great looking man i'm wondering let's see is there a little read up on iron express so, Iron Express, weapons head mounted laser, sighted 30 caliber machine gun, chest mounted anti armor missile launcher, 5 barrel 20 millimeter cannon, specialty light infantry support, special equipment armored slashing jaw armor slashing wings. So, it doesn't tell us what animal this is. What is your guess? I'm guessing it has to be like a, <laughs> well, I would like to say dinosaur, but maybe at the same time, maybe it's an ostrich or maybe it's a llama. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Maybe some kind of, I don't know. Let's see how well he stands. Probably not that great. Yeah, he doesn't stand that great. He's completely off balance. This is where I bring in my skull. Here's my skull. All right, we'll place him there. That's very, very interesting, guys. If you guys know what kind of animal he is, let me know, because I don't really know. He doesn't really look like, he looks like a uh, raptor, but at the same time, he kind of looks like a emu. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at, just by random, I want to make sure I have all the pieces. Stay tuned. Okay, so next up, we are going to be taking a look at Steel Trap, which is the uh, alligator or crocodile. Not really for sure, but let's go in close for the detail. And man, oh man, man, these are something else, man. Whoever designed these are just, they're just brilliant, bro. They're really, really smart. Really, really unique looking creatures, man. The tail is articulated. I like that a lot. Let's see his feet is articulated. I like that. Look at the feet, bro. I'm trying to I'm trying to give you guys the best detailed look for these creatures because that's what they are. They they're highly highly detailed figures. This is something that you don't see uh nowadays with action, action figures, man. And then he has these guns on here on his back that are articulated. I feel like he's missing one. Hold on one moment. Oh, actually, it's right here. So this is right here. I was wondering where this belonged to. So, yeah, this probably just pegs right into there. Yep. And then there's the three guns. And then he has a mounted gun on his back. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of uh, the uh, penguin scene from uh, Batman uh, Returns. There's the face right there. In the jaw is articulated.
and he has armor on his head look at the horns as well really really great guys prepare for a, be prepared for a long video because i'm trying to i want to try to get as much detail as i can and i want to give a full review of these figures as well yeah his uh arms are articulated he does have brakes here his head is movable as well <laughs> just look at this guy man this guy is just freaking awesome definitely really really awesome so if you're wondering about him steel trap if you guys care to hear weapons four fully rotational pulse rifles powerful jaw specialty kills by whipping its victims with armored plated tail very very dope i like that one that one's cool bro uh, let's take a look at one of the figures I've reviewed before on my channel, but I didn't have him complete. Now I do. Um, so here is uh, Grey Thunder. This is the Rhino right here. Just look, just look at the detail on this man. Wow. This, this is what I mean by finding like hidden gems, bro, from the past. Like you just don't see this shit anymore, man. Like, this is so awesome, man. This kind of reminds me of, like, uh, Transformers Beast Wars. There's this rhino butt. And his uh, gun on top uh, rotates as well. His machine gun. I think when I had this guy, I think I didn't have the machine gun. And I don't think I had this weapon as well right here. I was missing that. But, man, look at that, bro. Uh, that's not articulated. This is all pegged in right here, so none of this moves right here. He does have articulation in his... Uh, legs and he does have knee bend but be careful with these knee bends because i remember some of them breaking off uh my previous figure so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna test them but trust me they are articulated um head movement that's pretty much it just the rotation but just look at the face right there there's the back right there a little dusty so whoever had these before me uh, took really, really great care of these figures, man. Man, just an amazing piece. I can spend this is what this is what art is when it comes to action figures. Like I can spend all day looking at this guy and find something new and different. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, they just don't make figures like this anymore. Put Grey Thunder over here. Let's take a look at the Warthog, which is. His name, oh, if you're wondering about Grey Thunder, um, that I mentioned, Grey Thunder, weapons, long uh, range cruise missiles, uh, eight barrel, 20 millimeter anti aircraft Gatling cannon, uh, specialty heavy attack. So there's that. Let's take a look at the Warthog, which is Warzone. <laughs> I love the coloring on this one right here, bro. The coloring for Warthog is done really, really nice. Love the tubes right there as well. Very, very nice looking figure. Head movement. Look at the look at the Warthog. This is a uh, Puma military style. <laughs> uh, that's a Lion King reference, by the way. Um, man, man, oh man, look at that, bro. Just look at that, bro. Damn. <laughs> These are just so awesome, man. So awesome. I love stuff like this. It's just, it's just, I don't know what it is, what it is about it. I mean, how can you not love these animals, these armored animals, armored beasts with these cannons and missiles and guns attached to, attached to these figures. They're just so nicely done. There's the bottom of Warzone. There's his tail. I love his steel tail. I love that they covered up his booty hole. Um... And I love the tubing, too, right there, the steel tubing. There's the back of him. Love this little touch of green right here as well. Really great. And everything is articulated. His legs are articulated, head movement, just like that. This is this is essentially 90s toys. So um, I think, you know, one thing McFarlane did bril 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 brilliantly back in the 90s is that action figures 
you know, they didn't have the science down as far as like articulation and McFarlane knew that. So he figured, OK, let's give him as much detail as possible. Let's throw on as much armor and weapons as possible and just make him look cool. And who cares? Who gives a shit about articulation? That was his kind of thinking back in the day. And uh, and that's why he became so successful is because, OK, we can't give him the articulation. Let's give him the detail and pretty much turn him into articulated statues. That's kind of what they are. Uh, but this right here, this is from the 90s. So these are more or less more a more or less action figures than they are articulated statues, even though their articulation is very limited. But compared to some of McFarlane's older stuff, um, it's still our newer stuff after that in the 2000s. That's when he became more articulated. Uh, before we look at a, a code red or less articulated, should I say, uh, let's do a little read up on. Uh, war zone, so anti armored missile launchers, numerous 30 by 50 caliber machine guns, flare launchers, specialty heavy ground, heavy close ground support for war zone. So let's take a look at code red. And if you're wondering, we'll do a little read up before anti armor missile launcher, single barrel, 30 millimeter cannon, numerous 30 caliber shoulder mounted machine guns, he specialty heavy attack. Uh, special equipment, nuclear, biological, chemical protection suit, back and feet mounted thruster packs. Holy shit. This ape is ready for war. I wonder if he's a, a related uh, cousin to uh, Cygor. So here is Cold Red. And I feel like he is missing something. So I bought this guy loose. I don't know if he's missing something. Maybe he's missing some weapons for his, uh, for his arms. I mean, it kind of looks like it. Because this guy I bought at a different comic book place. There's Cold Red. He's got an astronaut helmet on right there. That's really, really dope. So if you guys have this uh, figure... Actually, you know what? Let me see. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. He is missing something. So he is missing some gloves right there, as you guys can see from the picture. So he's missing some big gloves which i don't have i'm kind of disappointed so that's what he's missing from his arms okay really nice man <laughs> this is really really unique really really love it I know they had this guy, at, I'm pretty sure they had this guy with the other figures right there. I don't know if he was missing these as well, the armor pieces for his arms. But if you're wondering, his arms do go up and down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he does have movements in his shoulder, pat, uh, shoulders, arms, barely. They're kind of stiff. Belly, nothing at the torso. Um... And then his legs just kind of, they do move up barely because, yeah, there's there's really not, no, not that much movement to this guy. Maybe they are a little stiff because they are a little old. That's what happens when you get old. I love it. and But he does come with this as well. And I don't know where this goes to. I don't know if this is a gun or what. I don't know where it belongs to. Um, I've got a feeling this shoots this button shoots a missile i'm trying to look for where this goes i have no idea where this goes guys let me see i was looking at the picture um i'm guessing it looks like i don't know man i feel like it goes somewhere on his back yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like it probably snapped off. I feel like it probably goes right here on his back. Yeah, it looks like it goes on his back, but it looks like it snapped off. So, yeah, it looked like it goes right there. That makes the most sense, like right there on his back. But it snapped off. Very dope, guys. All right, um, right, let's take a look at the last figure from this wave. Um, which is Cyber Spawn. So I already did a review of this guy. If you guys want to check him out, he's in my McFarlane reviews. So here is Cyber Spawn. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on him because, like I said, I did do a review of him. Um, but there is Cyber Spawn right there. Articulated fingertips. And if you're wondering about him, 
Here's a little read up on Cyber Spawn. Weapons, armor, slashing blade, claws and tail, ground assault, uh, specialty equipment, nuclear, biological, chemical, warfare protection, stealth protection, shield. So there is Cyber Spawn. One of my favorite, favorite figures. And I like he has a tail right here. So he is something else. I remember doing a review of this guy. I'm like, wait a minute. How do, why does this guy have a tail? I have no idea what this guy is. I don't know what uh, animal he's supposed to be based on. He has the claws. He has a bunch of claws right here. So I have no idea what this guy is based on. If you guys know, let me know what Cyber Spawn is based on. But there it is, guys. I tried to kick this review out as quickly as possible, but when you have figures like this that are really awesome and you have five figures to look at, it's really, really tough to do a, a quick review. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and and took a look at the these masterpieces from 1999. They're going to party like it's 1999, man. Really, really great stuff. Got the entire wave with some pieces that are missing, which I'm kind of disappointed in, in cold red right there. But eh, nonetheless... Uh, everything is complete. Cold Red, Warzone, Iron Express, uh, Steel Trap, Spawn, and then you have Grey Thunder right there. The entire wave of Techno Spawn. Really, really great wave, guys. Uh, so what is my favorite? Man, that's a tough one. I definitely have to say Spawn right here is my favorite. Uh, pff, man, I think Warzone would probably be second. I do like Steel Trap third. Warthog, uh, this guy right here, um, Warzone, I would say number four. Um, and then Code Red, number five. And then this guy right here, Iron Express, I don't know what he is, so he'd probably be last on my list. But this is a great, great wave, guys. Overall, I give this entire wave an 8 out of 10. Great, great nostalgia. Um, man, there's nothing more I can say. I mean, just awesome, awesome pieces, man. Very fragile, too, but yet very solid. Uh, at the same time because of the lack of articulation but great great freaking wave man something from the past just great great freaking figures man mcfarland did a great job and i hate to say it but he just doesn't make cool shit like this anymore sometimes he does you know sometimes he does if you guys want to see a little comparison uh with some of the new stuff like the best thing i can compare him to compare these two is cygor so, yeah, here's Cygor, just to give you guys an idea of the size. I mean, even though the Cygor is pretty awesome, and it is a kind of a throwback to, you know, Spawn from the 90s, it's still quite not, you know, as far as detail-wise compared to some of his older stuff. But just gives you guys an idea as far as, like, size comparison is concerned. Um, These are masterpieces, man. As a Spawn collector... I, I definitely would recommend it, but you know, it's if you don't get them, it's not really it's not really a loss. But it's it's a cool some cool figures to add to your collection, and yeah, I think as a Spawn fan, I would definitely recommend them. All right, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. I try to make this video as short as possible. Uh, if you like it, you know what to do: like, comment, subscribe, you know all that great stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out.